Oh! Oh, oh hi. I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't actually see you there. But um today we're gonna be doing water pump pulleys. Now they're they're fun to take off and fun to put on. Um but why we're doing this is because this one had a lot of rust and corrosion on it, which you'll see in the video. But um I didn't make an intro for this and I actually forgot to show you I forgot to show you me taking it off. I know. I know, I made a major mistake. I thought I had the clip. It either got corrupt or something happened. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, guys, we're going to replace one of these today. So, stay tuned for that. Okay, guys. So, uh, we got the shroud out, fan clutch out, and we already got our water pump pulley off. Uh, we had to use some special tools to do it, which were this tool, that, which was this tool that I had to buy. It's a wrench that goes over that fan clutch nut and turns it. I'll show you that in a minute. And then this grabs onto two of the water pump pulley belts. This is not the right water pump pulley, but this is one you just for an example. These there's two bolts that go into here. This grabs onto those two bolts and holds it while you use this wrench to turn the fan clutch off. That's the way that this whole setup works. Um, anyways, guys, now we have to sand it down so that it's not chewing up a belt anymore. So we're gonna go do that, and then we'll get back to you. Button. Okay. Hi, there, people of the YouTube community. I'm not the camera. This. Oh, oh, that's in their yard now. <laughs> <laughs> that's that thing. Okay. Let me, let me go grab that. Okay, so this thing is like beyond screwed. Okay, you probably, you, if you can't see that, then. I don't, know I don't know how <laughs> to be honest but that, that's after a lot of sanding you can see right there I did a whole lot to get it down and there's about an eighth of material gone that I just sanded off and look how much of that I have to go and you can already tell that the material's been like it's already lower than it should be you can tell by that lip you can probably see the lip now this is what one should look like this is the one I got this is the one that I had the other one that I had that I showed you at the beginning of the video as a uh, guide yeah, this is, uh, this is what it should look like. I went ahead and sanded this one down, made it look all pretty. And it didn't take me hardly any time at all. It took me a couple seconds, some light scrubbing. This one, I was burning out with all my force, getting it caught in my shirt, as you saw. And uh, it, it's still nowhere near where it should be. Of course, you can see the different types of pulleys, but it was just for, you know, proof of concept. Um, I'm going to go get a new one because I think it's a waste of time. And I'm not gonna have enough material left for it. And it's not. It's gonna be out of round, so it's gonna cause, you know, all kinds of issues that I don't even want to deal with. So instead of doing all this with the sanding down, I'm just gonna go buy a new one and be done with it. So that's the plan. All right. So uh, this is the old pool. You can see it right here. You can see how bad it was. Just in case, it's more of a refresher for me. But yeah, you can see I tried my best. Could not get it, you know, worked out or whatever. But so I decided to order a new one. Now, I, this thing had to order from Texas, and I only ordered it like this day, and they had it out here in like two days. So I've got to thank Summit Racing for that because I had to order it from them. And if you guys will look, this is this is not an actual factory Ford pull. You can see the difference being right here with this lip um, is the biggest noticeable difference that I even see. But like the depth is identical. I mean. So this pulley is going to work, you can see it same on the inside, same on the outside, bolt holes line up, everything lines up, They're same. So we're going to be installing this one and hoping that our issue is fixed. Now if I did not explain what the issue is at the beginning of the video, I do apologize, but the issue is that it is chewing up a belt. So we're going to go ahead and pop this sucker on there and hope that this issue is fixed because I don't know what else it could be if it's not that.
guys so that's gonna be it we got the water pump fully back on we got everything back together crunk it up and I mean it's still doing what it was done before I didn't expect that to change but um now there's more issues and <laughs> I don't know I'm I had it for today I'm gonna sleep on it and see what I can come up with but uh I can't do anymore for today guys so I just want to thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time with something that I can actually do, unless I can't figure that out either, so we're going to hope.